Hello and welcome to Wednesday, the day of wins. A couple weeks ago, I kind of talked about this show called uh, The Irregulars. It was a show that kind of followed the tales and heavily inspired by uh, Sherlock Holmes. And, um, you know, it was a retelling of, I believe it was a retelling of a story of his, but more focused on the supernatural aspect of it. And at the same time, I figured, why not start watching, well, rewatching one of my favorite TV shows? So I rewatched Elementary. It's, uh, I, I feel like I've talked about it before, but I, I just looked it up and I don't think I have. Elementary is a show that stars uh, Johnny, Johnny Lee Miller as Sherlock Holmes and, Lutz, and Lucy Liu as uh, Joan Watson. The show initially aired in 2012 and finished up in 2019. And uh, I believe I started watching it in... Because um, I started, I watched it as I released. Only watched up until like season 4-ish. Really enjoyed it as a kid. I say that. I was like 15 at the time. Oh god, that was 10 years ago. Um, enjoyed it as a kid. And then um, in like 2019, I started watching it again. And finished watching it in like 2020. And I it was a really great show. It, it still is. But I just had a... F I wanted to rewatch it, so I did. I started watching it only a couple weeks ago, and I finished it today which is why I felt like talking about it. It um, stars uh, Sherlock Holmes and uh, Joan Watson, as opposed to John Watson, here in New York, which, you know, is this is what started my favorite niche of um, crime drama. And, uh, yeah, any, any show that kind of hits this niche, incredible stuff. Uh, stars both of them in uh, just taking on day-to-day -day and their daily life. I won't spoil too much, um, but in the first episode you'll learn every, everything here. Uh, I, and I'm not so sure if this is a staple of uh, Sherlock's character, but uh, he is slash has been a heroin addict as of in this show and in the regulars he was, so I'm assuming it might be a staple of his character. I should read the original novels and something I might consider doing. But he is a heroin addict and uh, Joan Watson is his sober companion, basically a live-in um, uh, person to make sure like, hey, you're following your rehab stuff well, you're like sticking to your programs, you're keeping on track of what you should be doing to maintain your sobriety and because um, Sherlock is the incredibly eccentric man that he is he's going around and solving crimes and bring because um, he can't be apart from Joan he's uh, she's kind of stuck with him at the hip trying to like and he's exploring crimes she's learning and the show just follows their unlikely adventure and friendship throughout uh <laughs> throughout the show it goes on for about seven for seven seasons uh the first five seasons are like 23 episodes i believe season six is 21 and season seven is 13 uh i understand why they uh ended the show views were down but it was it for its time like the first four seasons were highly rated and uh the I assume the following three were. I just skimmed the Wikipedia article for a quick um, summary. So, from what I read, the every like this show was well beloved. It's a shame that it didn't get as many views or like uh, kind of looked down upon because of uh, the BBC's Sherlock and things of that nature. But it's such a good show. Um, if you're into crime dramas and you haven't seen it definitely watch it if you're into the Sherlock Holmes story at all which I think I might be getting into for sure watch it it's Johnny Lee Miller has because of uh, the end of the second season he has appeared in the most 
episodes or shows of um or spent most of his on air time as Sherlock Holmes, which is hilarious to me. But uh yeah, it's it's a great show. Um you're thoroughly invested not only in the characters and what they're doing, but also each episode, like the sporting characters, they bring back a bunch of stuff. You're it's a continuing story arc. There's a lot of stuff that it, it definitely feels like uh, if you're paying attention you can solve it but like that's kind of the nature of the of crime novels and crime shows like if you're paying attention you can definitely solve um some of these shows like some of the crimes but it's just slightly out of reach where because you're dealing with the world's greatest detective it's like Oh yeah, he, he can identify um, whatever scent this is. Um, he can recognize, uh, he can read lips and whatever. He speaks dozens of languages, has connections with the most absurd um, shadow organizations in the world. It's hilarious and it's just a good time. Uh, the best character in the show is probably the uh, tortoise that they have named Clyde. He's great, honestly, the uh, greatest character, and um, yeah, it's it's just a really fun show and definitely one that uh, well, I don't intend to watch too often. Every couple of years, I feel like I'm gonna go back to it and uh, just enjoy it once more. But yeah, I think. I'll probably try and read the original novels and see how that goes. Something I've always been interested in, and maybe I'll finally get around to it. But yeah, for now, I think that's where I might call it for today. Thank you all for watching. I hope to see you tomorrow. Until then, later. <laughs>